Hi everyone, it's Luke here from Nanlite and this is a short guide to be able to upgrade the firmware on such products as the FS150, the Forza 200 and a couple of other products that were initially launched with only wireless protocol version 1.0. This firmware update will allow you to use version 2.0, which will in turn give you the ability to control the special effects for the remote control solutions that we have and future ones that we will have. In terms of going about doing this, it's very simple. So by this point, you would have been able to find the download link for the software. Within that package, you will find what the software has, basically. So you'll find a guide to the new features the software has. You'll also find an instruction menu on how to do the upgrade and also the firmware update itself. This video is to supplement that to give you a hand in terms of going about and doing the upgrade process. Now, once you've downloaded that on your computer, you will have to move the firmware update onto a, a USB memory stick effectively. There are many different USB sticks to use. I've put onto two different types of sticks just to show you that it's quite versatile. The first one that I'm using is this one here, which is a data traveler, which is a Kingston um, USB uh, memory stick. They're widely available. This is a 32 gig. You wouldn't need to use such a size. You can use smaller and it's using USB 3.0. You can use USB 2.0, doesn't really matter. Obviously, this is a faster data transfer, but for such a small transfer, it doesn't really matter if you use version 2.0 or 3.0. So this is just one version. And this is another one that I got from Amazon, and you can also get them off of eBay and places like that. This basically is a Lentan USB Type-C, 32 gig. And what we have is a Type-C on one end and a traditional USB on the other end. I'll be using this one. So once you've got your USB stick sorted, what you need to do is move the firmware update into the root of the folder of the USB. Now what we mean by the root is basically the first folder you enter when you open the USB stick on your computer. Now, if you open the USB stick and there are folders and in those folders there's sub information, they would not be deemed as the root folder. So you want to move all of the data out of the USB so there's no subfolders, there's just the, the firmware update as it is. So you open the USB and just the firmware update and that's what we mean by the root folder. That is the first folder you enter before it goes into any subfolders, aka the root folder. Now once you have that on your USB stick, what you'll have to do is take your, your fixture. Now at the moment I'm using this on the Forza 200 and it's easy for me to show you this. I've got a battery in there, I don't have to connect it to the whole fixture because this is the part that's being updated. Now on here you'll have to find the USB port. Now once you've found the USB port, very simply, as you would imagine, you plug your USB stick into there like so. Now, provided that you've done this all correctly, what should happen is you turn it on and it will give you that pop-up. That's given you the recognition that it's basically found the firmware up there, or found the firmware on the stick, and it's ready to be updated. Now, of course, from here, all you'll need to do in the menu system is select yes, click yes, it will say updating, please wait, and then once done, that's now updated. So from here, what I'll be able to effectively do is go into my menu system. You'll see that there's now an option for wireless protocol. If I click wireless protocol, we have version 1.0 and version 2.0, and that's the main update to this firmware. So it's very simply done. So if I switch that off now, unplug that, that unit's now updated. And that's exactly the same process if you're doing it on the Forza 60B, any of the FS range, such as the 150, the 300, or any of those that are firmware updatable. Um, so hopefully that's helped. If you have any more questions, please do field them towards us. But we've tried to simplify the process as much as possible to make it easy for everybody to do this. Um, we look forward to you upgrading all of, your software, all of your hardware and software successfully and continue to see the great stuff that you can create. Take care.